The pandemic had unimaginable effects on the film industry. In particular, the cinema business has been idle for months and in many parts of the world there is no sign of a major improvement this month. At least there is now a ray of hope in terms of filming as this can be resumed in many countries. Firstly, there is New Zealand where the government has decided that seven productions can be continued at the same time. The team of the Lord of the Rings Amazon series, which is already expected by many fans, can be happy. Avatar 2 is already being worked on for a short time, but now the non-New Zealand staff is allowed to enter the country as well. Also, the live-action adaption of Cowboy Bebop, which was produced on behalf of Netflix, has a reason to be happy, because now foreign crews are finally allowed to start the production at all. In addition to the three productions mentioned above, The Power of the Dog with Benedict Cumberbatch, the third season of the series Power Rangers Beast Morphers, and the two films The Greatest Beer Run Ever and Sweet Tooth will continue to be produced. We also see great blockbuster potential in the United Kingdom at the moment. There, The Batman, Mission Impossible 7, Jurassic World Dominion and Fantastic Beasts 3 are currently benefiting from the government's relaxation. The team of Cinderella and Ariel also has started working on their respective projects again. Nevertheless, Great Britain is taking more extensive measures than New Zealand, because here the crew and the cast have to work more or less independently and are not allowed to leave a certain radius around the film location. In exchange, the actors and the team do not have to undergo a 14-day quarantine. By the way, the situation in Hollywood looks much worse because there is currently no way to continue the production. This might even lead to the fact that some film studios will simply shoot their movies outside of the USA, should there be no loosening of the rules soon. In any case, we will keep you up to date on the productions of our favorite films and series and hope that we will be prevented from further serious postponements in the future. After fans of the Fallout series got mediocre video games in recent years with Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, they can now look forward to a different kind of content. The plan is to bring the Fallout franchise back to the fans with an extensive series. This was recently announced by the developers on Twitter. According to various reports, the series will be produced by Westworld creators Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan, but Bethesda will also be involved. The computer game developer Todd Howard, who will also be on board as executive producer, is highly praised by Joy and Nolan. Each chapter of the incredibly imaginative story has cost the developers countless hours and the two are especially looking forward to working with Howard and the other brilliant lunatics of Bethesda. Plot details and cast members have not been revealed yet, but given the popularity of the Fallout franchise, the Amazon and Bethesda project is expected to become a huge sensation. Whether the positive or a negative sense remains to be seen. Actor Chris Hemsworth is used to preparing himself physically extremely well for his roles, and not only in the Avengers movies. In an interview with Total Film magazine, the actor explained that he has to prepare himself especially well for the role of Hulk Hogan in the upcoming movie and that he will gain more muscle mass than in his role as Thor. But that's not all, because as he reveals himself, Hemsworth will also be seen with blonde dyed hair with a mustache and beginnings of hair loss. The Hulk Hogan biopic is commissioned by Netflix and can draw on the backstage experience of Joker director Todd Phillips and Joker screenwriter Scott Silver. The content is not about the beginning but about the heyday of Hogan's life. It focuses on the 80s in which he became one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. When the Netflix film can be expected is not yet certain. Not a day goes by without Disney working on a live-action remake. This time, it's a remake of the 1953 animated film Peter Pan. As Variety reports, the project has now taken another big step forward because after not having heard anything about Peter Pan and Wendy for a long time, the signing of actor Jude Law was announced a few days ago. He is supposed to have been cast for the role of the villain Captain Hook. Responsible for the production is David Lowry, who is best known for his indie movies and has already worked with Disney on Elliot the Dragon. Journalist Justin Kroll also announced on Twitter that Law was not the first choice for the role of Captain Hook. Apparently, Will Smith was intended who could convince with his role as Genie in the live-action remake Aladdin. An exact release date of Peter Pan and Wendy is still unclear, but the next live-action remake from Disney will definitely be Mulan on August 21st, 2020 and Cruella on May 28th, 2020. 21. As the online magazine The Direct reported a few days ago, John Constantine is about to return to the screen. 
Allegedly, an internal source at Warner Brothers has revealed that J.J. Abrams is currently working with his company Bad Robot on a film about the DC anti-hero. What exactly this involves, for example, whether Keanu Reeves will return to his leading role or whether a complete reboot is planned, is currently still unclear. Keanu Reeves was already able to convince in his role as John Constantine in 2005, alongside Rachel Weisz, Shia LaBeouf and Tilda Swinton in the film of the same name. Financially, the movie didn't seem to satisfy completely because with a budget of about 100 million US dollars, it only earned 230 million US dollars and therefore wasn't continued. Also, a return of John Constantine in a series of NBC from 2013 failed and was already cancelled after the first season. So, if Warner Brothers should actually produce a new Constantine movie, they will probably do their very best to sign Keanu Reeves for the lead role. After all, the 55-year-old is currently the Hollywood star par excellence and for many people, already reason enough to go to the cinema.